Dean with I Buy Cool Stuff. We're out at the Middle Belt Flea Market and we're gonna shop the market this morning. It's uh, Sunday in the middle of July, the 15th, I think. Not sure. So, all right, let's see what we got. How much are the quartz of oil? Three bucks. <clears throat> Three bucks. This scrap yard, man. That's a dollar fifty. <laughs> That's a dollar fifty a pound. You just scrap it Hot Wheels. I've never been a Hot Wheels person. I've tried. Can't get into Hot Wheels. Got some nice tools this morning. Snap on them. See if we can find some good antiques or collectibles this morning. Let's see what we got. It's rained the last few days, so short a few vendors. Barbies by the bushel. That's a lot of Barbies. I cannot get over people selling pot plants out here. It just seems so strange. They call this lantern the turd. They are not terribly desirable. But they make one that has a the globe is um, beveled, for lack of a different description. And the one that is beveled is collectible. I do have one at home that is beveled. Didn't even realize it till I was looking through them the other day. Good job, Florin. Glad to see you're helping. Hey, I help everybody. What's going on, man? <laughs> that looks like my uncle. That is my uncle. <laughs> And then when they blow like that one, I'd use it the other day. I'd use that one about a year now. Hold off of that deck. It fell a few times. Why am I thinking that's a good car? That's 
generally in here somewhere. They well, it's not. It's it's not. It's no, it's, it's actual General Lee is there. No, it's not. Is it no. No, this is not. The, the actual General Lee is in here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I didn't see it. Probably the next one right here. Everybody's just getting wound up this morning. Some of them are still coming into the lot. <laughs> Morning, how's it going? Pretty good, you? Ain't been caught. And I ain't even giving Brian none of my money this summer, so I'm doing really good. <laughs> good morning, how are you, Melanie? And I didn't see I didn't see anybody following me down Sibley hardly. So I must have been driving a little fast. Melanie is one of my daughter's friends. So you gotta say hi. Huh, look at all the signs. I'm gonna try the signs. Metal or plastic one? Plastic, they look like. Plastic? Just looking to see if there's anything interesting. Fifteen, ten, and five on the signs. Kind of like the A&W set. Not seeing the picture often. Any old fishing lures in the tackle boxes? Oh, whose stuff is it? Can't get into it. Nothing for fishing lures in the box. I finally got into it. Nice cast iron. It's done a good job of cleaning it. National. I was watching uh, some videos on how to fix axes last night. Oh, is that right? Yeah. There's some old guy that comes here. He hasn't been here in uh, a couple of weeks. But he'll pick up a hatchet, and when he gets finished with it, it looks like a brand new one. He'll come up here and sell it to me, or Benny, whoever's here. And uh, 
not very much money, had a nice uh, plum hatchet for uh, 10 bucks. You know what kind of knife that is, don't you? What? Not sure. It's, this is right after World War II. That's a Hitler youth knife. That after World War II, they were trying to make money to get over the war. Oh, is that, I thought that looked like one of those. And that there is a post-World War II Hitler youth knife. Oh, okay. That's and, good to know. Uh, it's just... Made the, on the it, same. It, it's the the this the sheath is exactly the same. Somebody's put some stickers and stuff on. Yeah, it. yeah. But if you had a Hitler Youth knife that needed a sheath, there's that, a sheath. Except for I think, probably says made in Germany on the back. I can't quite read it. Yeah, it, it does. I think it says made in Germany. Is that yeah, what it says? Yeah, it says made in Germany. Whereas a Hitler Youth knife, because that's marked for export, right, would not say made in Germany on it. Just, yeah, it, it's on the same uh, design as that youth, uh, youth knife. Oh, it, it is. It's made by the same companies oh, and everything. Oh, oh yeah. Good to know. Yeah, it's made by the same companies it's and everything. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm glad to know that. It doesn't change its value, but no. but it is a, it's a good little history if somebody asks good, me about yeah, it. Yeah, it's a good little knife. Uh, bayonets uh, go for the uh, French, the long French. This? The oh, this? Yeah. It's a it's a good bayonet. Yeah, I didn't put a price on it yet. Uh, it's an excellent shape, matching numbers. Yeah. It, it's unbelievable for a World War One bayonet how many of these are around. Yeah. It should be dated like 18-something on the back of it there, 1875 or 60. Yeah. And they're they're good bayonets. Yeah. It's probably, you know, full retail. If you were going to get rid of it online, it's probably 150 bucks or something. That's what I figured. Yeah. And you know, but you're not going to get that out here. No, no, I figured so. uh, somewhere around 100, 120. Yeah. I put 120 on and see what happens. Yeah. Good bayonet. 40 bucks. See, you know what I know. You know that, I don't think I've talked to anybody about that. This is the, uh, it's called the Birch Tree Budweiser. It's 1981, 82, 81. And for whatever reason, it is a rare mug. But here in Metro Detroit, this Budweiser mug is all over the place. They must have dumped cases of them mugs here in Metro Detroit because they are all over the place around here. And this is this is the other early one as well. This is the eight nineteen eighty, uh, and and you find I find more eighty ones than I do eighties. But around here in Metro Detroit, we find a lot of both of them. So in Metro Detroit, you can find one, two, three of them a year garage sailing, and everybody thinks they're just ten dollar mugs, and then you can put them on eBay and get fifty bucks. Uh huh. Yeah, I've not had any with the blue background. Yeah, I've not had a blue one. Hey, Raj, how's it going, Raj? So, anyhow, but it's knowledge is power, and you've got to, you've got to know your market. You've got to know what's for sale, what you can find where. And, uh, but most of all, you have to get out and find the stuff because you can sit there at home and never find anything, you know. It don't work. Bring it back. I got you. I'm, I'm, right. I ain't going nowhere. I got, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you ain't got a 76 
So that was a good little conversation. He finds good stuff. He's if you're going to be a picker, you got to know what to pick. And uh, he knows. He knows. He knows. But I've come out here and found them Budweiser mugs, the rare ones, for you know four or five bucks. And uh, I sell them on eBay. I do not put them on my table because the odds of somebody coming by wanting to give me forty bucks for it is pretty slim. I kind of scan the booze, see if they've got anything I might be interested in, the type of stuff I might be interested in. I love toasters, though. That is a very cool toaster. Love the shape. Keeps toast warm. Interesting. Accidentally bumped the off button. Nobody's perfect. I looked at this medical cabinet yesterday. Really like it. Doors slide nice. Like the color. Kind of cool. If I had a place to put it, I would talk to him about it, but I don't have a place to put it. Mm, records. You don't do records much. Oh, right squirt box. No gravy in it. Which, you know, you can't blame them one away, you know. Rubber band gun. How cool. What's going on with you? Nada, nada, man, nada, nada. Been hitting a lot of garage sales? Oh, yeah. There hasn't been a lot down that way on Stearns this year. Huh. Hit a few, but I'm always in a hurry, so. How much are the blow molds? I got uh, 30 on the Santa and 35 a piece on the other two. I think about that. I do not understand the fascination with blow molds. They are cool. They are not that cool. But they will sell. Let's see, he's got some trains. How much are the train cars? Seven. Hmm. Nice AHM River Aussies. Heavyweights. They sell very well. I think about that.
not an ABU. Look the box is in, it says it's ABU, so I had to look twice. Not familiar with it. Nice set of deer antlers. A little anvil made out of a piece of small light rail. That's kind of cool. Morning. How's it going today, boss? Yeah, it is. More blow molds. Lots of blow molds today. Nice clean lantern. Here's one in the box. With the well, we got two. We got one in the box and one out of the box. But everybody's wanting the red 200 A lanterns. Coleman lanterns are always good. What's up, Jeff? How's it going this morning? Did you see the trains that guy's got over there? Oh, you mean uh? Whatever his name is. Yeah. He's got some nice river. I see. I only uh, buy his uh, kits. He's got a nice river, nice river Rossi uh, passenger car set. He said seven bucks a piece. I don't know what they, they're in boxes. They're nice. Well, that's good for so, you, for river Rossi's. Yeah, and if you bought them, he'd probably give you five. You know, they're the heavyweight river Rossi's. You'd turn around and make uh, 15, 20 bucks on them. That's what I figured. If, like I said, though. You, you, you need to expand outside just trains in order to hustle out here a little better. Huh? No. I can't, uh, just nothing all going. No, I understand what you're saying. I I'm said if you're going to it, it's just my hobby now. I'm oh, getting out of it. Good. There's stuff out here that I had not planned on. <laughs> huh? Well, I, I don't know what you planned on. So. All right, Jeff, we'll talk at you later. Shooting a little bit of a video, huh? All going except for my. I bought a pile of. Nice I bought a pile of slot cars yesterday. I bought 27 slot cars. So. Anyhow. Oh yeah. That he gave me to sell and just give him a cut of it when. I got a, I got a line of 671 turbine off him last week. But I got to get the tender for it. And yeah. I got that diesel. Yeah, well, you'll find it. Found it on Evil Bay. Evil Bay. It's eBay, man. All right, so not much out here at the market. <laughs> More blow molds. Everybody's in the blow molds all of a sudden. So, anyhow, uh, not much at the market for me this morning. Not all the vendors are set up. So like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you want me to find, tell me what you're looking for, and uh, like I always say, God bless you and God bless America.